appears as though it is a in this picture with a little girl standing on a bed. Five things spotted in one of the Balenciaga campaign photos. There are more disturbing hidden messages in the Balenciaga and Adidas collection. I can't believe Kim just posted wearing Balenciaga jeans in the wake of this whole Balenciaga scandal. The same artist also created Fire from the Sun, which includes small and large scale works that feature toddlers engaged in playful but mysterious acts with sinister overtones and insinuations of violence. These paintings are super disturbing. This just shows you all celebrities are controlled. You don't see no celebrities talking about the Balenciaga situation, right? So that just shows you all of these celebrities out here, don't let them influence you in any way because they're controlled by the people who really influence the world. The stuff that's been going on with Balenciaga is extremely dark and disturbing and I have to talk about it because I have noticed something in one of these photos that I haven't seen anybody talking about yet and I am sure some other people have found this in this picture because it's it's pretty out there. Just makes this even more disturbing if it already wasn't disturbing enough. So today what we're gonna be talking about is what's been going on with Balenciaga, the fashion brand, and the Christmas ad campaign that they put out that has the internet blowing up. Everybody is talking about this because it's extremely disturbing and incredibly hard to believe that this many people okayed this and put this out there. And honestly, the way that Balenciaga has chosen to come out and make statements about this and how they've been handling the situation just makes the whole thing even worse in my opinion. Also the way that some celebrities have been responding to this or not responding to this has been extremely upsetting because with the level of severity that this is that there should have been a lot more statements put out and I feel like when it comes to Hollywood and celebrities there's a lot of darkness and weird stuff that goes on like we all know. I truly feel like there is like subliminal messaging here. I don't think any of this was accidental. I think this was very intentionally done. And I'm gonna tell you guys why I think that in just a minute. But first, a little bit of context of the situation. I do not know an, a lot about fashion. I'm wearing a $5 Spider-Man shirt from Five Below. So I clearly am not a very fashionable person. So when it comes to fashion brands and stuff like that, there's names that I've heard here in there, but like, I don't know anything about them. I don't know who created them or anything. So when I started reading these threads on Twitter and watching these TikToks and videos about Balenciaga, my jaw literally hit the floor, mouth wide open in absolute horror that this stuff has been going on and we're just now talking about it. Balenciaga is a luxury fashion house that was founded in 1919 by the Spanish designer Cristobal Balenciaga in San Sebastian, Spain. Balenciaga produces ready-to-wear footwear, handbags and accessories and licenses its name and branding to Cody for fragrances. The headquarters of Balenciaga is in Paris, France. There's a lot of celebrities that wear Balenciaga. I'm not even gonna go through all of the names, but one of the ones that we're gonna be talking about later in this video is Kim Kardashian, Justin Bieber wore for the 2022 campaign, Bella Hadid, Meryl Streep, Nicole Kidman. There's a lot of celebrities that wear Balenciaga. It's a thing. Like if you guys remember Kim Kardashian in that all blacked out outfit where her face was covered and everything, that was Balenciaga. Balenciaga put out an ad campaign for Christmas and the campaign was called Gift Shop. This featured children that were posing with teddy bears that were dressed in bondage gear. These pictures are extremely extremely upsetting and they're trying to act as though they did not have knowledge that these were being put out and that these were not approved which is absolutely ridiculous this was posted on their Instagram this was their Christmas ad campaign there are no mistakes every detail in these photos is extremely intentional I mean they're children holding teddy bears wearing bondage gear which is disturbing enough then when you look at some of the items in the photos it gets even more disturbing Disturbing. There's one where a little girl is laying on her stomach and there's wine glasses. And then there's some where they're holding the, the bears standing on beds. There's a lot of pictures of them standing on beds and bedrooms, which makes it even more disturbing and extremely intentional. But this picture, you guys, I don't think that I can even show you guys without this being censored. You may have to look this up yourself if you wanna see it because I already lost ads in one of my videos recently because I was wearing a shirt from a Christmas story that said, oh fudge. So I'm not about to show this picture because I can assure you the 
prop that was used in this picture is not something that you would find at Toys R Us, Walmart, or Target, okay? It appears as though it is a strap-on in this picture with a little girl standing on a bed or near a bed. What else is this supposed to be? What else was the intention of this? When it comes down to these set designers, these people that are putting together these photo shoots, every detail of it is intentional. They're very detail oriented. They know what they're doing and why they're putting it there. For anybody to act like the placement was weird and, and unintentional on this, they're lying to you because this was extremely intentional. But why would you have a child in this photo? Big photo shoot for Interview Magazine recently and there was such detail and every member of that crew from the photographer to the creative director to the wardrobe person were so intensely and intently involved. I find it very difficult to believe the story of this shoot was not made abundantly clear. In this particular case, the victims are these children who are objectified, sexualized. Models don't have the power and those parents were probably just happy that their kids were hired to be models so they definitely weren't given any creative background in my opinion. I haven't seen anybody talking about this one and this one disturbed me so much. There's also some other pictures that I've seen from this campaign that weren't being as talked about where there's like, it's, it says Balenciaga on it, but it looks like caution tape that's like wrapped around chairs. Like another one of the details in these photos that everybody is just absolutely horrified by, rightfully so, is a prop that was used is copies of a US Supreme Court judgment on child pee as a prop. You have something that clearly looks like a strap on. You have multiple glasses where it looks like adults have been drinking alcoholic beverages around a child laying on her stomach, teddy bears in bondage gear. You have children on beds. And then on top of that, you have caution tape on chairs. And then you have a picture of a handbag with a copy of something like that in this ad campaign, 100% extremely intentional. And every person who was a part of this should be thoroughly investigated. It's so obvious what the intention of this photo shoot was and it's very exploitive. I wanna say that I'm shocked, but I'm, I'm honestly, I'm shocked, but I'm not surprised that people in Hollywood put something like this together and that this many people had something to do with this and okayed it until the public was upset about it. They put this out and people were horrified about it, rightfully so. But then the campaign that they replaced it with because they did take it all down and they put something else up. In the background of the photo is a name of a man on a book. You see a book that says Michael Bormans. When you look up this man's name, there are pictures with children that are so graphic that I, I'm not gonna put that here. In this book, you'll find a series of paintings of children dressed in robes doing some kind of ritual. Some of the paintings look like there are people eating body parts. The same artist also created Fire from the Sun, which includes small and large scale works that feature toddlers engaged in playful but mysterious acts with sinister overtones and insinuations of violence. These paintings are super disturbing. This book at the bottom is The Cremaster Cycle. If you look up Cremaster, you'll find Cremaster 3, which is a movie about the murder and resurrection of a Biff, which are reenacted during a Masonic initiation. The amount of symbolism that people have uncovered from these Balenciaga photo shoots is deeply concerning. Balenciaga recently apologized for the images that they posted on their website of children holding teddy bears in bondage gear. However, it's important to remember that they signed off on it. They were okay with that. They were okay with the placements of these books and these symbolism. They're not sorry for these images. They're sorry they got caught. The paintings have themes of a word I cannot say here where people are into children, blood ritual, dark religiosity, occultism, and even racism. It even depicts images with cannibalism. It's extremely graphic and the fact that they replaced this ad campaign with something like this that had that detail in it, you cannot tell me that this was not intentionally done. And then when you look at the back of this picture, there is a name, John Philip Fisher. Well, when you look up that man's name, you learn some extremely disturbing things about him as well. It is a college diploma that is a certificate of degree of John Philip Fisher, who is an 80 year old man involved in a child SA case in the controversial Balenciaga campaign. This was also another campaign that was done in the same year of 2022. Balenciaga is pursuing a $25 million lawsuit 
against the production company North Six and set designer Nicholas Day Jardins, probably saying that completely wrong, excuse me. And that is the person who designed the set for the campaign. In the legal papers filed in New York, the brand alleged that the production company and set designer engaged in inexplicit acts and omissions. He claims that they were props that came from numerous boxes that were rented from a prop house. However, we all know that there's no way that they would let something like this slip through the cracks. I mean, if random people who aren't even set designers and, you know, we're not even the faces of these big brands and stuff like that, we're just random people. If we notice this stuff, you know they knew what they were doing. It's gonna be one of those things, mark my words, where in a couple weeks, nobody talks about this anymore. It's as if it never happened. You're gonna see celebrities wearing Balenciaga again. You're gonna see them on the runways and the fashion shows on the red carpet, celebrities posting pictures of them. It's gonna be as if none of this ever happened. And that's scary. Now, one of the things that I think is just extremely telling to me is that they claim that this is a mistake. They deleted every single photo on their Instagram and deleted their Twitter. Why would you delete all of your pictures for one mistake? Is it perhaps because you don't want people to go digging through these pictures and seeing the other mistakes in them? Now, I have seen a lot where people are like, why aren't celebrities speaking out about this? Kim Kardashian was one of them and she finally spoke out about it. Since Kim Kardashian has been an ambassador for the brand and practically the face, social media has been adamant on wanting her to speak out in regards to the situation, which just today, Kim Kardashian has broken her silence. Kim Kardashian made two statements on her Instagram. This is the first. You can pause to read and here is her second response in regards to her relationship with Balenciaga. First things first, the issue of people wanting her to speak out sooner, Kim Kardashian made it clear that she wanted to have a conversation with Balenciaga directly to get all of the information possible and to make sure that this never happens again. And in her second statement, she made it clear that she's reevaluating her relationship with Balenciaga. She wasn't originally saying something or jumping the gun to say something because she wanted to speak to them first, which why would you even need to? You can see what these pictures are and you're a mother, you have kids. But in her statement that she made about it, she doesn't seem to be cutting ties with Balenciaga, which I feel like if she wasn't gonna wear them again, or support them, she probably would have said that, but she didn't say that at all, which is extremely telling because Kim Kardashian has a lot of money. The fact that this is something that's happening and that she's a mother with children and she did not say that she's no longer going to be supporting this brand, I think speaks volumes. I can't believe Kim just posted wearing Balenciaga jeans in the wake of this whole Balenciaga scandal. Am I going crazy? Somebody tell me. She posted a carousel of arty pictures with the caption, we need life. In all the very artsy pictures, she's wearing these jeans. Here is a listing of the jeans online where you can see the brand is Balenciaga. See here when she was pumping gas and there was a whole article about her head to toe Balenciaga outfit. Before the picture was removed from the carousel, you can see some comments like this one where somebody said, I think she just gave us light on her opinion about Balenciaga. If you guys want to see the video I did about them, I will link it up there. And I just want to say she has worn Balenciaga with like fetish gear before, which fine, whatever you're a, an adult, if you want to wear that. I don't care if you're into that. I don't care. Like, do you? But her wearing that outfit in this photo tells me she knows what she's wearing. She's aware of what this is. So then why would you let your nine-year-old daughter wear this? If you're unaware of what this is, this is a fetish mask, okay? This is not something a nine-year-old should be wearing under any circumstances and it's from Balenciaga. You guys, you're gonna have to get in the comments down below and let me know what you think about this. This is horrifying and I knew that I had to talk about it. Did you guys catch these little things in these images? Did you see them? Let me know in the comments and did you catch anything else that I didn't or is there any other images that you've seen with some weird stuff in the background? Leave that in a comment down below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and I'll be seeing you guys soon for another video because there has been a lot of things going on, a lot of weird stuff that I wanna talk about. And so I'll be seeing you guys very shortly for another video. And here's a quick reminder, if you guys would like to support me in this channel, I do have members content where I post extra videos. So if you guys would like to become a member, it helps support me. Or you can also go and join my second channel and hang out with me over there. It's just some extra content that I like to post. Those two things will be linked down below or just subscribe because I would love to have you guys a part of this channel too.